Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Cast Patrol podcast. Joined as always by Mick and Age, and special guest today, probably the funniest bloke in the NRL content creation space, Hectic Fred. Welcome to the show. How's it going? It's going good, man. That was a good intro. Man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually shit, so you're lucky. Yeah, that was a good one, bro. Made a special for tonight. <laughs> How are we going, boys? Yeah, we're going good. Yeah, going we got, good, going got Fred good. on the great. panel today, so might bring a different take. He goes for the dogs. We haven't really had a shit team on our podcast yeah. this year, yeah. so it's good to finally have one. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. You, Any, hey, we're in the same boat, man. So <laughs> off. So yeah. off. Hey, except my beautiful nights, mate. Up the brickies. We're still in it. <laughs> <laughs> we go for the nights. doesn't go for the nights. <laughs> 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 <Nah. laughs> Oh, boys, we had a big weekend. We had a double stream on Saturday. We did. Went very well. Two hours, 12 to 2. Unreal. We Plenty hit winners. winners. The best one was a CB3. So we had a wheel behind us, spin the wheel, and throughout the whole time we'd be generating like doubled users and they could be on that, on the wheel. And then you spin it and whoever it landed on got to pick the CB3. So they picked the horse. It's pretty much like a party horse and everyone had to back it. Yeah. This silver fox bloke, his name was, <laughs> picked this horse – Eight dollars, eight dollars fifty. Yeah, it was six dollars. Shibli, was it Shibli? Shibli, Shibli. Shibli. Yeah. Such a good name. And Chrissy Waller, Shadian, Jimmy Orman, down Sam. the outside. Beautiful. How many copies have we got on that? Two hundred eighty-six. Oh, yeah. we'll touch on the wins later. We also had like four shorts to give away. Cast four shorts. <laughs> yes. So a few more winners, but yeah, that was a good down on the punt and good day thanks to Dabble. And then we went to the pub after boys, and that's yeah. when I think Jimmy and I hit our stride. So. I don't know. Jimmy's like hot and cold. You got to know when to pick him, and that was a day you, you pick him because he was just hot, hot. Tips, 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 tips. Winning. Like for instance, one of the races at Morphville, he goes, "Oh, Ruffy's going to win this race," and we're looking at the field, and it was almost like a light bulb moment for both of us. Jimmy goes, "I think they're number 10. and as I read the number ten, it was Vino di Casa Nostra, and I go, "Italian, oh, Italian horse," which means <laughs> homemade wine. And I go, "Fuck it, let's get on fifteen to one." It won like a, the clearest favorite ever. Won like a favorite. Yeah. Just like, yeah. So How Jimmy was hot win? that day. What did you do on the weekend, Fred? Man, I was streaming, mate. Streaming. <laughs> Had my own live streams on. Yeah. Hey. hey. So you're but, part of the lifestyle. You been cancelled yet? No. Thank God. <laughs> Can't get to me, man. So where do you where do you stream on? Uh, I stream on kick.com uh, yeah. slash hectic Fred. And um, yeah, I've been there for the last three, four months now and never looked back. Lovely. How many how many subs you got on there? Followers. Uh, we got. Don't know how it works. Eleven hundred followers there, and like we've got like sixty active subscriptions at the yeah, moment. Yeah, well. that. yeah play. Great, Kicks yeah. just starting off as well. So. Yeah, yeah, and um, every yeah. game, every game, fuck every hell. game. So the rest of the season, I'll be there, and on Grand Final Day, I got a twenty four hour stream. Twenty four hour. Yeah, hours. From, yeah, we've done like we've done like five now. This is oh, like, what do you mean twenty four? And what time hours? do you start from? Uh, like sometimes it depends. It just depends on what I got the night before. Right. Yeah. Um, but this week, this year will probably be around uh, twelve. Uh, it might be seven o'clock start. Right. Okay. So I might start like um, which might start about ten, ten o'clock. Yeah. So I start ten o'clock on the Saturday, and then go all the way to the to the Sunday. And basically, when grand final ends, I hit the hay, I hit the hay. Wow. That's and how do you how do you keep a stream going for twenty four hours? Bro, like- we do so much stuff. Like we we like. Play a bunch of games, like do a lot of party stuff collectively. Yeah. yeah. Um, do a lot of reactions, like, and there's obviously like lots of sport that we watch as well. Like the last time we did it, like this is NBA on. We watch so many NBA. So games. who's we? Is it just you on camera the whole it's time? Just me on camera. Wow. Um, we do like cooking streams as well. Like we have a bunch of challenges, <laughs> so it's like now. we'll have like sub goals that people have to hit. Yeah. And then like we've had a couple of years where we get like, um, hundred dollar giveaways. Like we did like two like in the one stream as well and. Like we have a wheel that we spin yeah. pretty much as well. And every time it hits something, I either got to do some shots or um, dance, whatever dance the chat wants me to do. So sometimes I end up looking <laughs> like one of those NPCs. On <laughs> um, I've had to do a couple of twerks. I'm doing the WAP was the, the stu- that stuff's really hard, Did man. I don't know how that? they do it. Does someone crop you doing yeah, the WAP? Yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got plenty of, <laughs> we've got plenty of clips of me dancing. Uh, the WAP so is good. hard. I don't know how they do it. I love it. I love What'd it. What'd you do? Well, after the pub, I dogged you boys. Yeah, he dogged us. Apologies. Well, on the hottest street. From the lucky panda. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, went to Lucky Panda before our dog juice. Yeah. For those who don't know, it's the poker machine, the panda. <laughs> he was just looking at us funny and we're like, you know what, this panda, he's going to pay. Call, he was calling our name. <laughs> he wants to get fed. Yeah. Fed some money. And we'll talk and to him. We gave him some money. He gave us some back. He did give us some back. Not all of it, but. He was hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> and we got too greedy. Fred, are you much of a punter? So I've, like, I, not on the poker machines. Yeah. I've put 300 bucks in the poker machine in my life. Yeah. Didn't win a single spin. Not even a so feature. Like, not, no, like, not, not, a single, not even like 20, you know, you get the, like little, little wins. wins. No 20 cent wins, 50 not, cent wins. Ev- like every time. I just see my $100 go down, never go up <laughs> once. <laughs> so I'm just like, maybe this isn't for me. I'll just stick to roulette, eh? Yeah, yeah. 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 What, about, what about betting on the doggies or anything? NRL? I've been against the doggies. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all <laughs> the time. You must be rich. But um, no, nah, there have been a couple times where we got a couple, like, a couple wins, like, um, but. <laughs> yeah, better than guess us most of the time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I put a little cheeky pun on here and there, like nothing too major, yeah, like nothing yeah. too extravagant. But the last, the last, like I lost, like I pretty much wasn't hitting nothing on the NRL this year until like the last four weeks. Everything yeah. I lost got won back over the really? last three. Oh, you're on a hot streak. Yeah, on a hot streak. Fuck, we've got you on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, yeah, usually, usually NBA is always a hot streak. Yeah, but NRL, I've just been stinking up the joint until the last four weeks. So hey, now things nice. are going well. Every time it's just. When I saw Cobo go through to school last week, I just knew the hot streak's coming on. <laughs> this is a hot streak. Jesus. This is what it feels like. Six Far out of my last so eight for the bets. patrollers listening at home, follow Fred, the whole podcast. Hectic Whatever he's saying. He knows. Six Get out of my last eight multis, man. Six, Six out, out of my out last eight multis. Yeah. That is good. Hell. How good is that? I'll tell you what else is good. So after I dogged you into Chin Chin's. Dog. So it's a Very rest- good. restaurant in Surrey Hills. Yep. Took the miso out. It was fucking class, boys. It's, it breaks the bank a bit. It does. But the Wagyu beef pad siu, fucking second to none. Yeah. Like incredible. And the duck pancakes. So that's a little tip. Duck pancakes all the time, eh? Oh, so good, man. So, so I recommend good. Chin Chin's. Definitely. So it was worth dogging you guys. I woke up Sunday morning after like good win, watched the finals. Who was that? Saturday night. Shark Roosters. Fucking good game. Great I game. was on Sharks. Like, kill me. <laughs> Heinz, just set up for a field goal. It's not hard. Anyway, yeah. we'll get into that. It kills me slowly. But I woke up Sunday and I couldn't believe my eyes. I wake up and I see Val Holmes with an unknown bag of white powder in his mouth yeah. and, a, and a, a beer or cola or whatever the fuck it was on his Instagram story. Someone was What's doing on he, his own Instagram, on his own story. Instagram story. See, apparently he's, he's trying to make it out like it was a prank or something. Yeah, it was it's a prank. just a prank, bro. That's I what swear I didn't consume it. <laughs> it was no, a prank. I was, a prank. I was just having a laugh. <laughs> so, fuck. Yeah. What it was vacant What soda. was he trying to do? Can we like. Put, be a, I think be he was trying to send second. it to someone and then he accidentally put on his story. Like close friend's story? No. No, 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 no. Was sending was it to a Because you know sometimes it's in the bottom left, your story. And if he was consuming whatever was in that bag. If he was under religion, the influence. If he was under the yeah. influence as well. It's hey, very easy. It happens. Error, yeah. it happens. It was up for two minutes and then it got deleted. Yeah. Uh, imagine the fear in his like fucking body when he'd seen that post. He goes, no. So, so was it only up for two minutes and someone got a screenshot? Short, yeah, two, two minutes. Right, two minutes is like two hours. If he's, was got, <laughs> he's got two hundred k followers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Someone would have said, "Turn that's it off." He would, he would have got ten thousand in that two minutes. Yeah. I reckon he was cast. That yeah, that is. You know what we should bring back, boys? Cast character of the week. Mm. We, we haven't done it in ages. We haven't. Well, I so, think it's a toss up this week. You obviously got Val Holmes. Yeah, and. Sunday, Hungry Jack. Yeah, Fred's doing it. Fred's doing Jack it. Jack Biden, mate. Jack Biden, eh? <laughs> Jack Biden, Hungry Jack. Did he bite him? I don't know. I think he gave it no, away in what he was saying. It's, he it's, said, not, it's not an if, did he bite him? It's a certain that he beat yeah, him. But he literally said was it warranted? To the ref. Was it warranted? What he did say to He the said ref. to the ref, what do you want me to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally, there's a super 4K video, like yeah. zoom in of, of him biting bite him. Bite marks. But mm. it's, va- it's warranted, bro. He's literally got Gamble's mouth, like arm in his mouth. Probably tastes like shit yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't want Gamble's arm in my mouth, bro. <laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> I don't want anything of Gamble's in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last bite mark that was done was Kevin Proctor. Remember that one back like three years ago? He got sent off and it was four weeks. So what's Jack Wine got? He got three weeks. Thank okay. God. South fans. I, th- I was scared it's six plus was coming. Yeah. And not even a sin Not even a sin nah. How could they not prove it? It was literally slobber you, and teeth marks. Yeah, like you could see. Like what was a- Klein second guessing? No, I think, I think they were saying his arm was just in his mouth. So then- And the- yeah, Gamble knew I don't what think he bit down. To bite down. Did you hear the ref's audio when he's like, is that a bite mark? Is that a bite mark? And Gamble's like, 
Yes, mate. Look at it. <laughs> yes. Bro, I reckon Gavel knew what he was doing, man. Like but they were down 16-6 That's, 16, that's, six that's that just point. something that Joshy Reynolds would have done. Like, he really say. reminds me of Joshy Reynolds. That's yeah. why I love Gamble so much. The semi-final, yeah. you got to take it. I'll tell you yeah. what, they didn't get the Symbion or sent off, but what it did to the Knights crowd, they were raging. They were Fired up. so loud after that. Let's it get, literally lifted them up. It yeah. did. Let's get into the review. We might as well start off with that game since we're talking about it. Yeah. So, obviously, they came back somehow. Knights fucking, oh my goodness. They were done. They, they were, were done, done at halftime. They looked off in it? the first half. Hastings ruled out. Yeah. That try right on halftime, like that, when you concede on halftime, like that has to hurt. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. like that. Like, That's a ball break. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, look, I had to dump milk on my head, buckets of milk on my head if, if Canberra won that game and I wasn't even fussed. Did you have the milk <laughs> but, like, ready? <laughs> yeah, we had, the, we had the, like, we hadn't bought the milk yet, but you know, we're in that, because I wasn't even worried one bit, but yeah. then I'm like, at halftime, I'm like, fuck. Man, how's this gonna work? Like, I gotta like, it's, gonna, it's all gonna stink, and then I gotta drive home from Sui's house. <laughs> How are we gonna get the lighting? Like, we gotta like do it at a certain time, and like, yeah. milk prices are pretty expensive. Like, these are the thoughts going through my head <laughs> yeah. at, uh, at at halftime. But I like, wasn't scared. Yeah. Like, but when the comeback started to happen, the second comeback from mm. the Raiders. Oh yeah. And then I started thinking, oh shit. Like, okay, maybe I might have to yeah. dump them. Like, the game was over, and then Knights just invited them back. Yeah. Like, with those yeah. shitty errors. Such a roller coaster, eh? Like, that, Raiders were up, then Knights went up, then Raiders came back and leveled it. It was 28 16, game over, and then. Yeah. That Starling try was good, though. Offload, offload, then yeah. he scores under the post. You could just see it happening, though. Yeah, like, as soon as the first it step. Happening. As soon as Tarpany that like, got a good, like, head of steam. Yeah, mm. you know what was gonna happen. Yeah. He's no, so exactly. clutch, bro. Yeah, as a Knights fan, I was shitting my fucking self. But, but like, no <laughs> one expected that from the Raiders. No, no one did. Everyone yeah. gave him no chance, especially, especially after the Papali'i last week. Horsburgh was out. Yep. Yeah, they had like no one, no, no Chris. Chris, Chris was is out. probably in their best back this year. But yeah. it's moreover, I don't know how he always does it. Like Rapana, man, he's like a jiddu, like he's a grandfather <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah, he's still just so damn good whenever whenever a big game comes up. The bloke has thirty three <laughs> runs yeah. for two hundred eighty. Thirty three yeah. runs, two hundred eighty meters. Just, I don't even know. Two hundred eighty. He's just and like he's That's cracked, good. bro. He's insane. He's, bro. I don't he's know a winger. He's, he's but he played fullback like yeah mental. He just gives it everything. That's what I'd be um, grateful of if I was a Raiders fan. I'd be content with the way they put the effort in and they went out with like yeah. trying all season. But like they haven't been great all season. No, no. it's just their DNA, as Ricky would say. Yeah, yeah. the Raiders DNA. Yeah, their from... DNA of not winning thirteen plus all year. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Like and not having once. a negative one twenty four and against them, like just making a. So that was literally. just a sinkhole for bookies that. 13 plus for Raiders the whole year. Just fucking yeah. sink up. Yeah. I want to highlight some other stats. Crossland 60 tackles in a 90-minute performance. Incredible. He's been unbelievable. Ponga, as usual, this is standard. One try, one line break. One try assist, one line break assist. Yeah. Dom Young's been great. 18 runs for 224 metres. Two tries and a try. Give him the fucking footy. He's Open good. space. It pisses me off. He's gone. You hear about, you hear about South, really how we really lost him? Yeah. South had Dom, Dom Young. Oh, he doesn't know. No, oh. I didn't All know right, this. So get ready. So the Daily Telegraph reported this is how the rift started allegedly between Sam Burgess and Demetriou yeah. because he, Sam was on holiday in the Gold Coast yep. and they've called him They've called him up and said, oh, we want Dom Young. We're going to fly Dom Young to Gold Coast. You have a meeting with him and Steve Nateski. Yep. They had the meeting. Dom Young sold on South. Then what? He's like, I'm going to sign. Sam's going back to the club say, yeah, I've got him. They go, all right, sweet, we'll prepare the contract. Last minute they go, fuck, we've just re-signed Cook, Trell and Cody and we have to re-sign Tom. We don't have the cash for him. We're gonna have oh. to let him go. And Sam's like, this guy's a gun. Sign him. No yeah. way. So we had him if we wanted No, no, him. like Tom was there. Oh like deal was done God. and then lost him. And then who they signed? Roosters. Oh, who? And then who they signed? Oh, Jack, Jack Wyden. Wyden. That's Jack why. Jack Wyden, baby. Jack Wyden. Sean Mitchell's cousin, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and the rumours are Fox wants to come to the house as well. No, that's just. I'll t- we'll take him off we'll here, take, We'll take him off here. Mate, it's, all, it's all just it's just it's all words, mate. No validity <laughs> for your for sake, mate. I hope so. <laughs> um, we'll get into the next game, Broncos Storm. 26-0 Broncos with one of the most dominant finals performances, especially over the Storm. That Did I've he expect seen. that? No. What uh, hoodoo? Well, my best bet was Storm plus 12 and a half or something. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's like Broncos 13 plus the only result I can't see happening. Uh, yeah, no one saw that. I had, I had 30 to 8. Like, I had like, – I had, them winning easily. Storm? No, nah, um, Bron- Broncos. Oh, really? yeah, you saw it. Yeah, saw I, it I had Broncos. Oh, you're plus. in a hot I, was, I had them 20, I had 20 plus, bro. Wow. Yeah, and I just, I just thought, they got no forward pack to yeah. compete with these guys, man. Yeah, yeah. their forward pack's humming eight. Yeah, and they're just, like, what's Melbourne going to do? And they had yeah. Nelson off the bench as well, and 
Yeah, like it was 6 0 when he came on. You he, did, he was making a difference. Like he, he was, was making a difference for a bit. But well, the first half was only 8 0, right? Yeah. There wasn't much in it. But they yeah. were that gone. second half. They were trying so hard to slow that ruck down, and mm. they were just 6 again, 6 again, penalty, mm. penalty. And this had to tackle all game. And it, it, in their half, the whole, they're stuck in their own end the whole game as well. Yeah. yeah. Paddy Carrigan was insane. He played player. 60 minutes straight in the middle. Yeah. The goal was off his Doesn't head. He had the stop. most run meters. It was 183, top the match. Like, bro, he's just a beast. He's, he was tackling everything. Oh, I wish we had him as South. Yeah. Well, one oh. player that we did have at South that was impressive, Adam Reynolds. <laughs> he was – the more the oh. time goes on, like I was always team, all right, fuck, we, let's re-sign our youngsters. But Yeah, yeah. He's just – he doesn't stop. He's relentless. And they talk about it. The halves that are going around right now, you look at them, Sean Johnson above 30 – DC above 30, yeah. which was, and Adam Reynolds obviously above Ben 30. Hunt. Ben Hunt. They're like – these halves sort of get their – into their almost prime maturity after 30 around mm. that. They just start to get wiser and smarter. Fucking – that's how he was 30 years old, probably another three years. Yeah. I mean, probably wouldn't want to comp with him. How good was he on the treadmill? Oh, the so slow. <laughs> so slow. Yeah. So he was slow. going up and yeah. down the one spot. He deserved that one, man. He, he deserved did. that he one. Deserved. He dropped over the line. I was mate. <laughs> He had, he had two tries of his own. His kicking game so good. It was pinpoint, like, mate. Fucking that Got drop on kick he did where it went out. Yeah. <sighs> and I just, yeah, I, look, I was never a fan of him leaving. I don't know why no. you'd let him go. I really wanted to sign Adam Reynolds. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know it was like the, the grey area, like, you know, it was a bit of a red flag. His health really over the last, you know, you just expected – Something you know they were worried about something mm, bad yeah. happening. Yeah, but yeah. Even though him and White and have played the same amount of games the last three years combined. Yeah, I know. It wasn't a problem when getting Jack, but <laughs> yeah, letting exactly. Adam walk, and yeah. the fact that you had to put all that pressure on a, a, a young like on Elias. He's a he's a kid, man. You know, like it reminded me of Brody Croft and and Melbourne. Like things mm. could have worked out well if um worked Give out better time. if you gave him time and didn't they didn't have, he didn't have to fill in. A uh, club all-time level, you know, yeah. great Richard, player. Yeah. Even like Jackson Hastings, I think he came in after the James Maloney or Pierce yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's a, it's a lot of pressure. You're dealing with a star-studded roster, and these people are demanding the ball every playoff. Mm. And if you're a young kid, you might pass it. But yeah, um, Ryan Papenhuyzen, boys, that that fucking broke, broke my heart. That broke everyone. Yeah, you saw a player down injured, you're like, please don't be Paps. Yeah, and it's Paps. Yeah. And then as soon as it happened, he knew as well. He just yeah. and you looked at the injury, you're like, oh no! You yeah. saw everyone. Well, the ref's him, reaction like, that was for really? me. The the ref, he's gone. He's thinking, oh, what the hell happened here? And he's like, oh shit! Like, yeah. And yeah. He looked at the, you see him like, yeah. okay, yeah. Pain, pain, yeah. Haas, I think, yeah. had pain hands on his head, hands on his yeah. face. Like everyone was just shattered. I'm sure there was everyone at home as well. Like left a sour taste in that match. That was so that sad. Was, yeah, it was terrible to see. But he's had surgery, so hopefully comes back in. And the it new wasn't year. a compound fracture, like yeah. they thank God, yeah. Because we um, saw Jarrell yeah, yeah, compound fracture, and he retired yeah. straight off that injury. So hopefully not. Uh, Panthers Warriors thirty two to six, up the pars. <laughs> up the pars. <laughs> Too good. Like, do you have an Too opinion good. against against that social media stuff when they're saying up the pars? Like, is that play on? Or is Man, it penalty? I didn't even see it, but I, I saw it. like it got yeah. taken bro. down, right? Play. Oh, they apologized for it. But pars is not nothing rude or anything. Like, it's just just a plain word. So you, don't know, you know the Up the Wise song? Yeah. Someone made a remix of like Penrith Panthers. Yeah. That's fine. And up they, the, the Pars. Yeah. Yeah. The and pars, I'm like, bro, like that's what makes sport great. Like mm. a little bit of banter, a little bit of pettiness, you know, a like, little bit of like shit talk, I guess. Mm. But yeah. um, like it's just weird that like they have to put in an apology for like changing one letter. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it's funny, bro. I guarantee you, no Warriors fans were mad. No, I get no. it. Was, it would have just been other people just getting mad for them. And it's yeah. like, or this Penrith PR team. Mm. I mean, like, I'm, it's play on for me, it's man. It's play on. Nah, oh, I want on. more of that stuff, not less. You know what I mean? Like, it's when you see Sammy do the Gutherino on, in, in, you know, in, it, right, in front of, right in front of Gutherson, like, that stuff's yeah. mad. Yeah. yeah, 100%. But yeah, um, they're too good, Penrith. Oh, way too good. Way we, too do good. we see a three peak coming? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just Broncos are the thing. only ones there. Just like fuck, they could do this. Bronx, they could stop them. It's two horse race. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think, I think it's just the class above everyone. We're just wasting our time this week having games on. Just like yeah. get Mel uh, Penrith and Broncos to the final. It's already over. Yeah, but uh, it's it feels like that. But you never know with rugby league. You never know. You know what I mean, and 
Penrith don't like they don't have Luai, but like you wouldn't even notice it, eh? He he's notice. training, eh? So like, like yeah, he'll, gonna, he'll, he'll, he'll be back. He'll right? be back for he'll sure. Be, yeah, and they got the home home advantage a week, a extra week to prepare. Yeah. yeah, same with Bronco. It's gonna be fucking hard. To yeah, play yeah. good luck, and you got to play him at home. Oh, yeah. like playing both those teams at home, good yeah. luck with no rest. Like, yeah, who knows what injury is gonna happen like, as well. We've seen like we were absolutely spoiled as NRL mm. fans this year, like yeah. this week, this year in general, but this week especially. You just saw like these guys were putting everything into that game, and they got oh, to yeah. put everything into the next game, <laughs> and then they got to put everything into a well rested Penrith. Like you're you're yeah. gonna get gassed. No, yeah, too much. The like, nights, ninety minutes, and then they're gonna have to play eighty strong minutes against Warriors away, like in New Zealand. Away in New yeah. Zealand, and then who they versus? They win that. They go versus Brisbane. Broncos, Brisbane. Yeah. 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 It's, it's too much. So it's a that's lot. That's why you've got to finish top four, eh? To yeah, make, that, to it's a the, major, major. That's why no teams won it from outside the eight in so long. Yeah, and it won't happen yeah, for a long four. time. But not sorry, yeah, outside, <laughs> outside, outside the eight. eight. Oh, it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is impossible. But, but he's not wrong. No yeah. team outside the eight that's has ever won. That's the start of the week. Sorry, outside the four. Yeah, but I tell you what, I was doing the stats and I saw that um three of the Penrith back three are in the top five run meters of the year. Taruva, Edwards, and Toll. Yeah. Top five of the year overall. Like that that's starts handy. the set mm. is incredible. So that's why they're there. They also they're... probably get a lot more balls since they score a lot more tries. Yeah. And have exactly. the ball in but their that's, hands. That's what it is. It's just yeah. getting them off to, on the right foot. Yeah. yeah. Their sets. And their then... first carries are fucked. It's like Edwards and then it's like Toll or Taruva. Yeah. And then it's like Critter or Tango. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Who have all like, who are all great. Probably the better, like Strong. some of the better running meter you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. centers in the game. Yeah. And if they, when they run, you feel it as well. Like oh, it's not just like meters with them. It's like, like I don't want to tackle Brian Thor. He's like a, <laughs> he's like tackling a rock. Like what's, yeah. it's going to hurt, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's never like shit. Well. I'm trying to make five meters here. It's like, I'm going to have to, Thor's going through no matter where he is. Yeah. Like, like he's making that 10 meters. On the biggest stage, we've seen this bloke like make just line breaks out of the blue, just yeah. off tough carries. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's the best ring in the comp and, yeah. He would still be the best winger of the comp and he scored no tries because that's how yeah. much of an impact. We made he thirteen has. tackle breaks last week. Yeah, and like just, you don't even blink. It's just like it's, like, it's, it's just tall. a tall nightmare. That's what he does. You know <laughs> what I mean? like, and and then, Edwards run for two hundred and twenty three run meters. Top the match again. Critter two try assists and Cleary thirty three runs. Got the record with Rapana this week for the year. Yeah, that's crazy. For a half, and he was he was you know Adam Reynolds was it was an absolute masterclass, and he still didn't have the best performance for a no, seven. No, no. Cleary was Cleary like Cleary just reminded everyone who he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's been a lot of people have been talking bad about him. Like we know, I know a few guys that are saying like he's not, he's he won't be an all time great or he's not on that trajectory. I disagree heavily. I think it comes and down this, to his mm, origin career. Yeah, I, that's what people judge him on. That's the only thing holding mate, him back. I, grand, grand finals and finals games are as, as important as origin for me in my book. Like if you, there are players that are exceptional at both and there are players that are really good at club, but origin, like people weigh origin a bit differently. I weigh finals football and origin the same. And yeah. he's just so good when it comes yeah. to finals football. The no, only thing that annoys me is like, as a South fan, I know I'm wearing a nice jersey, but we can't cheer him home. <laughs> we can't cheer Cleary home playing for Panthers, you know? And then when you we can- can still like respect new, him though. We can respect him, but as a New South Wales fan, yeah, when we want to cheer him home, like he doesn't deliver, can't. you know? And that's what's annoying, but I know what you mean, yeah. It, he's the club footy king. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 yeah. Can't beat that. Yeah. He's, a, uh, he's Mitchell Pierce, like yeah. a, a similar, similar yeah. mold yeah. right now. Actually, if he gets this three, Pete, it's yeah. hands yeah. down. And the final game, Roosters Sharks 13-12. I have to start this off. Teams, I don't know what they do at practice sometimes, but they need to learn how to set up for a field goal, especially the Sharks watching them. Mm. They had two sets on their line and they've gone right to Ramian on one of them. Kafusi's, Was this in extra time? Uh, no, he got talk, extra time. Didn't go. No, just in the, the in the final five minutes. Oh, okay, right. And then kafusi has got one of the balls on fourth tackle and passed it to Talak uh, Talakai through a, almost made a gap. To be fair, but set up for it. You go fridge, fridge, yeah, fridge. <laughs> Hines is on the line for twenty. Take it. That's yeah. it. They didn't take that, and I think that's what cost them the game. And two charge downs. Fair play to the Roosters. They gutsy is the word I would use. Yeah, hundred percent. Like the well, chips were down. Like they, they, all their injuries, everyone's hurt. Yeah, Teddy Sinbin, 
Yeah. Like yeah. the game was there for the Sharks to win. Yeah. Oh. And they didn't. No, no. Yeah. Sharks should have the two. blown Mario away. So Lee went yeah. off. They took the two for me and that's when like that was I, I was literally live. And as soon as I saw them taking the two, they're going to lose the game. Yeah. Because yeah. they're uh, literally a man up. They were like, if the Roosters wanted anything, it was them to take the two in that yeah. moment. They were gone. And every time they went left, they were making a line break. They bombed a try. They scored one, then bombed one when um, Braley just took the ball when he was offside and lost yeah. it <laughs> instead of just leaving it for Talakai. And then they took the two when the Roosters were gone. And then they had a minute or two left without Tedesco. And they kicked the two and then that was it. it's that was like, it. oh, they're only down eight and they get the Tedesco back when you could have just gone left again. And it was working. I just... That doesn't sit well with me. I hate the concept of taking the two when you're a man up. I just yeah, think yeah. that just sends the wrong message to the other team. Like if I'm playing and I'm a man sense. down, I'm dead tired. I'm going to throw up because I'm tackled so much and I'm running. Like because they made a line break. They scored. They made a line break. Then they made a line break again. Like they've run three, four, five hundred meters oh, in, that, in that eight minute period. I'm, they're gone. Yeah. You're cheering, man. And if I'm, like, if, they're if, on the if, I'm, if I, if they take a two, I'm like, I'm, I'm sweet. I got to rest. <laughs> yeah, you get you a and break, it's a mental a fortitude. You, get, you yeah. have the mental edge because they're scared. You know what I mean? Yeah, or they're yeah. playing safe yeah. instead of going for the kill. Whereas I'm a big believer of like going for the kill. And I, if it was up to me, I'd remove the two points altogether, <laughs> make oh, it right. one point, and I just Wayne I, I, I want, like that. I want to promote attacking <laughs> football, and yeah. like I just want to promote the boys playing football. A two point a thon, Wayne Bennett versus Craig Bellamy is just not what I want to <laughs> get rid of the penalty goal. I hate the penalty goal so much. I think make it one point. Just to just gotta like stop incentivizing play teams to take it. And I just want to and I think it, I think it's just better for the game if you see more football with the ball in hand. Mm. And like I go for the dogs, brother. I don't want I get to see my team get to the other end like two times a game, bro. Yeah, you don't want to take you know them I mean? the two. I, you know, I don't want them taking the two. Like the game. I see why start. you want to promote attacking people. Yeah, they should have the dogs. I see enough of it, you know. Well, what like, I mean? and when they're the, good, I don't want to see a two point at all. Like, did go, you see the rugby union? England won, I think twenty they scored twenty seven points, but no tries. It was all field it was all penalty goals. Like, who That's wants sickening. to watch that, bro? <laughs> Bro, 27 it's, points. It's union, bro. Uh, it's union. turning into that sort of, you know uh, what I mean? It's like analytical, like, oh, yeah, it's two points. It's a third of a try. Because like, yeah. Nico a, Hines missed two he's two conversions. Yeah. yeah. And he just got two penalty goals to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. Trindle missed from in front. Yeah. Shocking. Um, Su, uh, Su Wong burst onto the scene hey. this last six, five, Star. six weeks. I don't even think he's their best young gun. Tyrrell May? Tyrrell May. May. Fucking been dead. From the off first the time I watched him, I'm like, fuck, this is the best May brother here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you love him, Jim. What, do you, what can you say about him? I just think, like, he's just so good. Like, off the bench, impact, meters. Like, yeah, I think he's Robbo's probably favorite player at the moment. What's yeah. his stats, eh? Do you love stats? I love my stats. I wrote, I had to mark his stats down. So he made a crucial break to create the try. Bumped yeah. through a few tackles, got the offload away. And yeah. I don't know who scored on the right wing. Someone scored. Um, Do you remember? Oh no, it was wasn't it was it Suwa? Yeah, I think it was Wong Suwa. Wong. The, like Wong? The, the no, that the was a ricochet, wasn't oh, it? Was yeah. it? Who was the other one on the right? Sam Walker's cutout. Palga? Palga. It must have been Palga. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, it, was no. A, it was Manu. It was Manu, Manu. Joey Manu. Manu. Yeah, before Manu. he got injured. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, but after that, 54 minutes, 13 runs, 30 tackles, no misses. He's yeah. a, he's For a, a bench player, you've fucking done your job in, in space. Well, he's been in, in our fucking... Team Play, of the uh, week. Team of the week yeah. the last four weeks. Yeah, except this was he in this week? He was as well? in this week. Yeah. In this week. Yeah. What a beast. So, yeah. <laughs> he's just an absolute machine, man. And he's like Big him engine. getting more minutes is what spearheaded, like was part of yeah. the reason why their streak they spearheaded the streak. The win streak. And it's just especially with Rui Hargraves gone, you need the other guys yeah. to step up. And yeah. him coming off the bench is crazy. Yeah, Robert doesn't have to rely on Lindsay and Hargraves every yeah. week. Like he's got Terrell to come off the bench. Yeah, especially do a job. Hargraves is yeah. stepping up massively. Yeah. You had Radley with 18 runs and 42 tackles. He was man of the match. Man Radley, of the match, for sure. Like he was off his head. You had Butcher, who you love, Jim, 51 tackles, two missed. Yeah. Just like workhorses who were just doing their job. That's it. Love to see it. Well, let's move on. So that's round one of finals. Goodbye to the Raiders and the Sharks for this year. We'll see you next yep, year with the South club. and the Cowboys and Dogs. Um, let's go to double wins. So we talked about before we had a Saturday live stream, so we sipped <clears> a lot of winners on there, but – Boys, we hit our try score trifecta last week. We did. I went Cobo, which you were doubting. You're, yep. You were like, Arthur's, Arthur's, Arthur's. Cobo scores. Yep. Then I went Bizza, unstoppable from close range. Turn it off. Yep. And Jim? Dom Young. Dom it, it, was, it was pretty grim That's early. It. Yeah, and then he scored a double late. He's, He's done that the last two weeks. Yeah. That was $5.04, 20 copies. 
Yeah, pretty safe, but got the cookies. Yes. And then we had the nice first Raiders try score of 15 bucks. Who do we have? Dom Young, Ponga, Mazu, Mazu Schiller. Schiller. Schiller was valid. That was the clutch one because people would have gone clutch. Clutch and yeah. up and We scored a double, so fair play. Very good. And how many copies we got on that one? 24 copies. Not bad. And, and then, then in the stream, we had CB3 for Doombin. We Shibli. had Shibli, tipped by Silver Fox, six yep. bucks. 285 copies. Thank you, you very much. The chat was exploding. That was fucking hectic. Off their head. Like you, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thursday Best Bet Multi, 1693, 41 copies. That's a good start to the weekend. It is. Load the bank Build the account. bank for the weekend. Build the bank. Uh, my best bet got up on the weekend, $3.40, 11 copies, recommendation into Cylinder. And then, boys, a couple one-leg losses, two in a row, back-to-back, -back actually. That was sickening. The Saturday one hurt me the most. Mm. Last because we backed had, off the map. Yeah, five legs, four of them got up, and yeah. then we had like a three-hour wait to the last leg. Off the map into $1.50. From two bucks. Yep. And guess who rolled us, Pikey? William Pike. Was it close? I didn't get to watch it. I it was been like half a length. Uh, but the, so like nice. the it was like in front first second there was a margin yeah Gapped thirty four dollar odds seventy two people riding at home <sighs> didn't salute and then Sunday seventeen dollars forty nine copies one leg as well Pikey actually a Pikey again who cost us so oh so like, he rolled us and then on you Saturday him? and then we backed him on Sunday at Kalgoorlie and he dogged us okay. you know what they say back Pike drink what you like so, so we won't really drink enough drink some water no. boys yeah we we'll drink um, water but yeah you're probably wondering at home. What's all this copy business? Fred, yeah. just thinking. What are yeah. you thinking? Um, so I'm like, mate, is it someone drawing an in on what you pick? Drawing an in. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Yeah. So how it works is it's pretty much like social media. So you put a bet up and then it'll appear on your followers' feed. Yep. And then you can literally click. It's a social so, media betting app. Yeah. So it's like a four-leg multi. Instead of going and in, inputting it all, you just click copy bet and yep. bang, goes straight in. And you can follow anyone you like. Yeah. So, and you can also place your own bets, and people yeah. can copy your bets. So, get on the world's best pet betting, betting platform, Double, this yep. weekend. Sporting colors heating up. NRL finals, AFL finals, yep. English Premier League's back after an international break. Thank God. Got the Spring <laughs> Carnival, World Cup, Fucking rugby, rugby World Cup, oh. and NFL. NFL's back. You put up NBA. We got stiffed, up. stiffed on our NFL multis, Jim. We have been. But yeah, we said it last week. The best thing for Spring Carnival is Dabble about Dabble is Jimmy's a late male tipster. <laughs> so he'll give you tips like two minutes before a race. Sometimes one minute. One minute. He's still seconds. looking at the form. Yeah. Like he's spending Decide. all the time doing the formula, but no, nah, I like this six bucks here, this value. So and he's, he's put putting the bet up yep. and you're looking at that in real time going, okay, copy. And people always ask us, oh, can you put them on your story? We can't. We get, we get on flagged. Double. It's all on Dabble. Yeah. So if you want to find out all our bets – so click the link in our episode description. Sign up in under two minutes. Use the special code Cast Patrol. H, how do you spell it? C S T P A T R O L. Not the Cast Patrol. And the best tip is set a deposit limit. Know your limits. Don't go over the top and gamble responsibly. Yeah. So just a reminder what are you really gambling with for free and confidential support? Call 1 800 858 858 or visit the website gamblinghelponline.org.au. Beautiful. So, Hectic Fred, now's the time where you're on the hot seat. We ask you the questions. Okay. I'm going to start us off strong. Yeah. How did you get the name Hectic Fred? Where'd that, that, was my, that was going to be my Were you going to say that? I, I think everyone's gonna, thinking. You know what? Yeah. I was actually going to say that. <laughs> everyone at home's I thinking. Gonna, I was going to say how I got that. <laughs> everyone at home's oh. like, why the fuck's he called Hectic Fred? So, yeah. like, I used to like DJ Ella when I was, like, in year five, year six. <laughs> by Ryan. DJ Ella, yeah. by Ryan. And I think someone called me Hectic Fred once. And I got a PS3 when I was in, like, year seven. Yeah. Year eight. And it was my name. That was the PSN name. Just with a lot of uh, Hectic X's. Fred. And the, with the E's were threes, but that's how it all began. It was my Hectic PSN Fred. name, yeah. Fuck. Nice, I like it. My name's not even Fred, bro. What? Shut my, up. My real name's not even Fred. What? Shut up. That was the next question. Is your name Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your name's not Fred? No. Nah. What's your name? My name's Farid, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, i got an Arab name, but nobody calls me that. Like, my schoolmates are call me Farid. My parents call me Fred. Yeah. Um, like your all parents call you Fred as well. Yeah, they only call me Fadid when they're pissed and when they're angry. So, <laughs> if I do something wrong, my dad would be like, Fadid! <laughs> Does it like, translate to the Fred in, in yeah, English? Yeah, Fred oh. is Fadid in Arabic. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Um, all right, thank so God. God. So it is like, your name, it, it is my name technically, but like the on the paper, like, you know, yeah. when they called my role at school, they'd get my first name wrong and my last name wrong. Fadid. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if it wasn't like something close, it was like, oh yeah, my name's uh, Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, Fred is just a translation. Translation, but yeah. yeah. Oh, but this is how it came off. Fuck, yeah, that's right. bad. So when did you start doing all this content creation and live streaming? 
So I start my first live stream ever would have like would have been in 2019. Um, I just started. I just wanted to you know play games for fun and you know hopefully hit the big times one day. You know have a big community. Yeah. Um, and basically I stream games for about two years. I still do, but um, when we went through the second COVID lockdown, well, it was right before Origin two or three in 2021. Um, Gladys said, "No, nah, you can't go watch the." footy with the boys so i said no nah, i'm not gonna let her win i'm gonna stream it on on twitch because i saw some other guys doing it as well yeah so i can do this and um then yeah. i put a clip of uh on that live stream i put a clip of at car and turbo like scoring a try that got discount like got disallowed in origin but my reaction was good i just you know it's at car he was joining the dogs the next day <laughs> i was very hyped up you know and I uploaded that was my first ever TikTok upload and then never looked back. Do you remember the first viral video you got? That one went for that one hit went fifty thousand, which is like something a number I'd never seen before. Wow. Never thought. Okay. And then it just I said, no, you keep doing this, eh? Yeah. yeah. And we were in lockdown for like that whole season pretty much. So I just kept doing Nothing it. Nothing else to do, eh? Yeah, it's like, like, I'm at home. Like I'm I'm already gonna be streaming a ton. Might as well stream this too, and then just kept uploading all the TikTok clips and um, always putting my own spin on things, always having my like live reactions. You know mm. what I mean? If I'm if I'm angry at something, if I'm laugh, if I'm if I'm laughing at something, you guys will always see it. Yeah. And like I always like loved t- talking shit about the refs too. Some <laughs> yeah, bad call. You give it to I'd the refs. I give it hey. to them, bro. I'm not, <laughs> I don't hold back. I'm not under contract. I, yeah. I I'm not like Ricky. They can't find me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can say whatever I want. Have you ever been cancelled or close to being cancelled for anything? Never, man. Then that. The, how like, how have you not been copyrighted oh, by so, posting your clips? Like I've like I got suspensions by by Twitch, um, because it's like, but they sort of you're allowed to stream what you want. Like you can't get sued for mm. streaming on. We've never yeah. seen anyone really get sued. You just get flagged, you know. Yeah. But what about what? TikTok? Because we got banned twenty five k. That was for like gambling infringements. But surely, like, like Foxtel, Fox League. Well, they, they're nothing. highlights, like, so it just, it's a little bit different. And yeah. I just never ran into any issues like that. That's so good. And if it was an issue, then, you know, TikTok would bloody take down every single video. But yeah. no, they only take ones where people are grabbing jerseys. Yeah, a little bit of scuffle. Leave, yeah, a little bit of scuffle, <laughs> but they'll leave full on UFC fights. Like, I watched the whole Strickland fight on TikTok after it happened. <laughs> as I was out. And, yeah. um, and like, they're all right with that, but. You have a little scuffle or someone – you say a little negative thing about something or someone and then they get all oh. upset. But um, I've just never had any issues with it. Eh? And we've moved to kick now because um, their terms of service are a little bit different. They don't really care about the whole – you know, they just let you stream what you want. You can sort of be a little bit more op- like free with what you do. And, yeah, we've just never looked back since. And I just upload every time I see something nice happen or anything cool happen. You post it. Post it. <laughs> and it's just, I love it. And ne- I'm so glad. I w- Thank you very much, Gladys. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it if you had a lockdown. So. Good stories Thank coming you, out of COVID then. Yeah. What about doggies? You're in a doggy jersey, diehard dogs fan. Thoughts on their season? Uh, like Very injury ruled, but still disappointing. Eh? Lots yeah. of drama came out like towards the end as well. Um, but... You know, I believe in the coaching staff and Gus that they and I have I believe in their long term vision. So I don't mind a few more rebuilding years if it means that I don't have to watch another rebuild for an, another ten, you know. Yeah, okay. Like if no point renovating a house on a on a bad slab, you know what I mean? Just take it, yeah. rip everything out and start new and that's what they're doing. But definitely look, I did say I did wanna make us I did wanna have some expectation. I did say that we we're going to make top eight. I had Brisbane ninth and I had the Warriors 15th and the Knights 16th. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Warriors and Knights were in my bottom four. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think they were in everyone's bottom four. Like, I don't yeah. think anybody saw no, this coming. No one saw the Waz. Uh, no. no one saw the Waz. Except four. Waz fans, bro. Nah, Waz they fans, were, they were chirping from the beginning. From I feel like they season. chirp every year to be Yeah, first. I know. But like eventually, you know, even they a do. broken clock's right twice a day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um, like I was very – had a lot of hope. But yeah. – um, we were just relying too many uh, on too many youngsters that weren't ready, mm. and that's why you just see these blowout scores every week. Okay, like and it's just, I think I hope that they learn from it. I hope that they gain the experience necessary to be better next year, because our team was very young. But um, yeah, I just didn't see what 
happened in the back end of the season. Just all the defensive collapses that happened. Like we were averaging 32 points a game. Yeah, defence was the main issue. Yeah, eh? yeah they're just, just down tools, eh? Yeah. Do you like, think Serrato's job's in danger if this continues to next year? Nah, I think... Um, what if it goes another season, finish bottom four? Nah. Nah, I don't think Serrato's job's in danger. Um, Gus has really made that clear, but then we know he doesn't always stick to what he says, mm, but... Yeah. Um, I genuinely believe that Gus knows the mess that we're in yep. and he is not blaming Serrado for it. But Serrado is actively trying to make a culture change. I think they all notice that there's something not right with the culture with players downing tools and players publicly complaining about training and yeah. all these drama and all these stuff that's coming out. I have no doubt that this sort of stuff happens to other teams, but the word just doesn't get out about them. Yep. Um, so... Like, are you going to see a lot of weird signings coming up? But I just feel like they're there purely for the culture change, not even to really play, mm. but to just train really hard. And you know that they're f like a lot of these players are fighting for their spot in NRL, so they're hungry. Mm. And I think it like Josh Morris said it perfectly: like it spreads like a disease, like bad culture. Yeah. And you need to kill that. You can't have a little bit of it left. You got to get rid of everyone that has that bad mentality, that bad mindset, and. Eventually, if you just keep doing the thing, things the right way, you'll turn into a Penrith or you'll turn into a Melbourne where you don't, you can just keep promoting guys from your system or getting players that are undervalued at other teams but completely suit your system if, as long as they buy into it. Yeah, for sure. What about 2024? Top eight? Uh, like, it's hard to Another pick. Year. We still have a major issue in the middle. Yeah. Um, Really lacking props now with Tavita gone. Mm. Um, we we're already lacking props before. I just got some I, good young forwards though. There, like Curtis Moran, like was good. Like Preston Pre Edwards, Preston on the edge was Preston. amazing. Oh, man, I just love Preston so much. But yeah, um, it's just it's a I like them, but they are still young. Yeah. And we have Billy Sarikas as well, who was that? He got a, a good amount of experience in England for the back end of the season. Like we sent him on like a six like. Basically a half season loan. Oh really? For and he'll come back next year and I'm hoping he can crack the team. Um they're talking about signing Safarth and like look as long as they're gonna work hard and play for the jersey, that's what I want. But I don't yeah. think we're gonna have a top eight year next year. What do you see as a pass year? Like a, like what it would be acceptable. Yeah. If we make if we make like if we start to look good towards the back end of the year like we have in the past, like they usually a whack until like like twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, they all did it like they sort of started playing better towards the end of the year. Um, I, if we can pinch like 11th with a young team and have a couple more signings going on for that next year um, where things are looking up, yeah. I can I, can, I just want to see some improvement, you know. Yeah, out of the Maybe bottom not bottom, a yeah, negative sure. 320 front against, like <laughs> a negative 100 I'll be happy with, you know. <laughs> um, but I just – we just want to see improvement. Yeah. yeah. And we just want to see players playing for the jersey. Because that's what we need. Like we just need players that are just going to do whatever it takes and not just concede soft tries in the middle. Like you you just put money on the one of the opposing props to score and then it's pretty much money. <laughs> Sipley, Papali'i, like – Vanilla yeah. Blake. Yeah. Yeah, all of them. Uh, Braden, Hamlin, ULA. Like it just – <laughs> Whoever it just yeah. put a tough. If really we did Fridge of the Week versus Dogs every week, yeah. we would have hit. Yeah. I, I, I did. That I, was one of your stats, Mick. It was um, yeah. Papa Lee, was it? Yeah. It was Papa Lee. Yeah. I had Papa Lee. Lee. Papa Lee. So I, had, yeah. I had Papa Lee. I had, um, had Hamlin ULA. I had, <laughs> I, had I like <laughs> everything. Like had Sipley as well, but then Cola didn't score. Yeah. yeah. $84 odd multi. multi. Oh. $84 oh. odd multi, and Cola was the one leg that didn't And he had the game, game of his life. And then he had the game of his life the week after. But if Cola scored against the Dogs, and he had a good game, he just didn't score. Yeah. But I had Sipley, I had Cherry Evans, like all these. Like mm. I just knew we were going to get pumped because mainly play for the jersey. We really yeah. don't. Yeah. Um, but Sipley's been really good since Paseca went down as well. I know the season's over, but like. Yeah, uh, he was just the easiest pick to score because we just <laughs> leaked so many points in the middle. So yeah. I just don't want that to happen next year. Yeah, if fair. it does, at least I'll be ready for it again with my, <laughs> with my vets, you know. But yeah, at least you'll get up on your punting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, just I don't think we're going to be in the top eight next year. But you never know. You, you, could, have, you, never know. you could have a Warriors year, mate. That's it. That's it. You could. 
Um, all right, we'll get into the NRL finals. Enough uh, loser talk teams. <laughs> no yeah, more. We're no talk more about man. South this week. No, 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 no. <laughs> we've been South after last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we said no That's, teams top, yeah. out of the top eight, so we, we have an exception it yet. Um, NRL finals week two preview sponsored by TBC Live. We'll get into them later in the winners of the massive giveaway of last week and announce yes. this week's giveaway. Some so good prizes coming up this very week. Very good. Ah, we know next week's prize too. It's Unreal. Oh, Ooh, you you know, I don't even know the one Ooh, after. I'll tell you after the show. There you go. Um, so we get into the first game of the round. Storm, $1.28 versus Roosters, $3.60 on Dabble. Plenty of outs. Oh, Roosters are, Plenty their of back outs. line's cast. Well, back, they lose Suli, Manu and Billy Smith. Three yep. out of their four backs. And then Tupo is out too. Tupo's out, which they were expecting to come they back. They needed him yeah. to come back. That would have been a decent inclusion. But yeah. That back line's very thin. Right now, especially for a semi-final game. So you got Teddy fullback. You got Palga and Paolo on the wings. Momorowski and Allen in the centre. You look at the Melbourne back line. Like they've shuffled around a bit this they've year. Shuffled as well. around like too, they've yeah. only got they've got Warbrick, Remus Smith, yeah. Olam, and Seven. Mm. Yeah. Like Olam got dropped halfway through the year. So you know, like where's his confidence at? Yep. Seve hasn't played a lot of first grade, and he's just come back into the team recently. Remus as well. So. I just can't see Melbourne putting that performance in back to back. Oh, they with couldn't angry, go any worse with an than angry what they did Monster. Last year. Monster is gonna fucking shit on him. I'm sorry. Like, I saw him after the after the game that conference. Sort of look in his eye. Yeah, there. he was yeah. like, "Fuck, watch out, Roosters!" Like, whoever we play, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roosters, yeah, it's yeah, and that's that. That Amy Park as well. Not really much of a fortress, you know. Dogs were up twenty six nil there, but just <laughs> um, round two, you know, it feels like just yesterday. But um, no, nah, it's. I'm expecting big things from Melbourne after last week. Mm. And, like, if the Roosters, like, we know that the last few years they've really struggled with injuries. If they have more in-game injuries again, like, they're going to they're gonna they're be, gonna be really trouble. screwed. Yeah, and they're already in, in trouble because these backs have not played with each other this year. Yeah. Like, and this is literally the reserve grade back line minus the Nesco. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, like... It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's tough gonna be to see. Especially Melbourne, who know how to exploit weaknesses better than any other team. Yeah, I think the middles is gonna be an issue. I think Melbourne have a big pack, and it's been the same pack for almost the whole year. I would probably against, say Roosters have a better pack. Yeah, definitely better, more informed pack. Yeah, Collins and May informed Butcher Wong. I'm yeah. worried about Bradley. 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 The yeah. thing with the Melbourne forwards is, like, besides Nelson, like they don't really have. I love Welch, but like you don't, you don't see that level of aggression from him. Mm. Like the Roosters are very aggressive, and they can yeah. like, if you're not ready to face that, like, uh, oh, they'll be ready as well. Yeah. Friday night, and they're going to be g up because they in know their face. Welch had a red hot crack against Br- Brizzy in his first. Welch is good. He was yeah. fucking. He was know, mad, but yeah. like going off. But like you know, yeah, like he, I love Welch, man. But it's just like after the first stint. He's it's he falls off a little yeah, bit, not as and then that's when he comes on for his second stint, and then Brisbane was just running all over him, yeah, yeah. running rampant. Yeah. And I'm like, the thing with the Roosters is they have so much heart, and sometimes in league, league's a very emotional game. Mm. Like I think, like you look at other sports like basketball and stuff, like emotions can really make a difference, like and and passion and all that stuff. I hate saying it because it's very general, but it really can make a big difference in rugby league because it's all mental. Mm. And they just get up for those big games, the Roosters, you know yeah. what I mean? And I just really don't want to tip against them, but it's the fact that their back line is just really light. And if and I just – you know that Melbourne's going to have that passion and emotion too because their season's on the line now and, yeah. like, they're expected to win and they're very annoyed after what happened the week yeah. before. So – and they're playing uh, in Melbourne. In at Melbourne. Amy Park. They've won the last eight in Melbourne at yeah. Amy Park by eight points or more. And Storm have only lost one semi finals match since 2005. 2013, they lost in the semis to the Knights. I don't know what crowd they'll get, though, because I think the AFL was on at the same time and it's a big game in the they'll AFL. They'll still probably get their diehards there down there. And then Roosters fans don't travel. Yeah. yeah. So only, only Hainsey. Pretty empty. Only Hainsey, Hainsey, yeah. Hainsey, Hainsey will be there. Hainsey, Hainsey will be there. there. Hainsey Hainsey will be there. there. <laughs> you can bet your bottom dollar. But for Hainsey, I reckon cancel that flight because Roosters only won four the last 11 at Amy as well. It's not so, good. But who does? Who knows about who one of them, one of them was the last troll field goal, I remember as yeah, well. Yeah, there you go. The last who do last week, Broncos didn't matter. 11 in a row. That was gone. I think Munster and 14 in a row. We'll show why they're the best. Yeah, it was 14. Yeah. Who cares? No, now. Can't. Zero now. One it's just now. the number, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Um, yeah, so 
Do we see a Roosters upset at all? Or are we all tip and storm? Storm. Storm. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think I've got to go storm. I don't want to. I just want to say the Roosters are going to win, but I just can't see it happening. Nah, not in Melbourne. I can't see it happening. Like, I wouldn't after, be surprised, but... like After what? losing to Neil, like, Bellamy's going to fucking get into him. Mm. Yeah, I can't see it happening. Jim? I'll go Roosters. Oh, okay. Really? Good, good mate. Yeah. You're going to go Roosters? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, let's build a same game multi, guys. We did it last week. We debuted the segment. Yeah. So it went okay. Did we... Did we Mate, we got stiff we with the, the Knights. We need Knights minus six and a half. And then it was a shooing. They, they shut just crumbled. The they shut the bed. Yeah. We got the quaddy down that game, so it's looking good. How about we start with the quaddy? Let's yep. all pick a try scorer. Yep. So there's four legs. That's how you yep. make a quaddy. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Fred, start us off. Who are you picking? For the Storm game, I yep. want to go Remus Smith. Why? Former dog. Ex doggy. He's an ex doggy. He's an ex doggy. He's player. He's got that monk. He's got that dog in him. He's got a yeah. lot of muscle. And I just like him better on the wing than at centre. Yeah. And last time he played wing, he scored. And that won me a multi. So I'm going to go with him again. I think you're Take up it. to something, Fred. But I ain't broke you might it, have don't seen this it. sheet because we had written down Storm left winger scored six tries in two games versus the Chooks. So there you go. Remus on the left. Surely one plus. Guaranteed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, like you're on it. a hot streak. So lock it in. Jim? I'm going to go Olam. Back into the side, yeah. Right, let me build this now while you guys are going, Mick. Yep. While I get this up, who are you going to go? Um, for Melbourne. Remus. I'll go Olam. I'll go Cameron Munster. I think big game player. I think he rarely has back-to-back bad performances. So I think he's going to bounce back this week. So you're all going to Roosters players. I've got to chuck a Rooster in there. Teddy, we got here. He has scored in seven, seven tries in his past nine finals. So that's... That's good that's enough good for sad. me. We're getting 67 bucks. It's not bad. Value. That's, that's worth, pretty good value. It's worth a dabble for those four. That's very good So whoever value. ruins it out of us four just gets bashed. Yeah. yeah, that's all. yeah. Forget it. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> we have to get Fred back on the We're coming you. for the knee. <laughs> it's all right, mate. It's already gone. You can't, tear, you can't tear something that's already torn. We'll get, we'll get the PCL. <laughs> yeah. The one last ligament left. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So same game multi in that case. What we Let's pick a try score. Is everyone happy with Remus? I yeah. think he's the mo- most likely to score. Well, co- if coach yeah. is normally there, he probably gets a few. Yeah, let's go. Remus. Remus. What else? Maybe overs. Yeah, let's do over Did 38 and points. Half. Over 38. Can we see it being over 38? I think unders. This is a big unders under, game. Under what? Under 38. You reckon under 38? Yeah, that's just screaming at me, eh? Really? Because these games are usually tight. They are. And but they, they haven't reached, they haven't gone over that in a while as well, these two teams. Is that a stat, Fred? Look, the last time it was what twenty eight nil to or twenty six nil to Melbourne, yeah, mm-hmm. and that's under thirty eight. And I just yep. always remember these never really being high scoring affairs. I think there was like that field goal mm-hmm. one was like twenty five yes. twenty four, and the yeah. last one was sixteen thirty to Melbourne, so that went over. And then before that, twenty eight eighteen, okay, yeah, yeah. fourteen like eighteen, maybe it is, yeah, eighteen twenty six. So it's it's a flip of a coin. It's always close. I think just like if we're thinking Melbourne in a win and win well, it could go over just yeah. over that. Yeah, yeah. And in that case, what? Melbourne, what? Minus what? Eight. Eight and a half. Eight and a yeah. half. Not Sweet. 13 plus, but eight and a half. Yeah. $4.10 there. That's up on Perfect. double now. So it's on double. Copy tips. Use the link in the description. Next game. The Warriors, $1.53 take on Newcastle Knights, $2.50. At Mount, Mount Smart. What do they call it now? Go, no, no. Go, Media? Go, Media. Go Media? Go Media. Go Media. Good uh, game. First final New Zealand since 08. It's not at Mount Smart. It's at Eden Park. But it's changed name now. Is it? What's yeah. Eden Park called? Eden Park is like the big. It, it's a different one, but it's a big. Um, it's a bigger stadium. Wait, so they they got it? They didn't get a home final. No, right? no, it's in New Zealand, but it's not at Mount Smart. Fuck, it's not really a home final. That's Wait, stiff. it says Go Media Stadium. Isn't is that, that Mount is Smart? that Mount Smart? Yeah, yeah it's Mount oh, Smart. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I think there was rumors that they weren't going to okay. allow it, but how dare you? I, 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 I had Waz fans whinging about it in in uh, in a my weeks Twitch ago? chat. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just assumed it wasn't there. Capacity apparently, but yeah. Obviously, it's, it's cleared now. So okay, it's my apparently, it's sold out after like 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, oh, I don't mate, blame him. First one since 08. Yeah. and yeah. That, oh, These cunts have been waiting fucking 14 years, 15 years. Yeah, and yeah. Union is on. The Union World Cup is on at the same yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's a big, that's a oh, huge. It's a massive thing. Mm. It wasn't a good weekend for the Kiwis, though. They had the Warriors lose to Penrith. And they lost oh, the opener against they, France. Against France and Izzy lost in the UFC. Izzy got smashed in yeah. the UFC. So, Strickland's a dog. And didn't bro. Kai Kara France lose as well? Uh, fuck, I don't know, bro. This is a rugby what. podcast. Please <laughs> keep the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, <laughs> don't bring it up. What are you doing? What are you doing? So all eyes on Sean Johnson this week. So apparently he was at 70% last week and they didn't want to 
play him. So yeah. who knows? Bro, if I'd he's play back. him at fifty percent this week. He has to. Play. He has to play. He has to play. It's simple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially after losing Metcalf, I don't think you, you can't play two halves that haven't been there the whole year. So. Yeah, or will the war or will the Knights win and be eleven in a row? Last time they did that was in two thousand and one to two with Andrew Johns. They're on fire, the Knights. I, I think yeah. they can get them, mate. They can. I think a home ground has played a huge, oh, huge. huge in their like streaks. They've had a lot of yeah. games at home, but yeah. still It'd be a good game. But it's hard to win those still sometimes. Like mm. look at Canberra, how many games they had at home and they yeah. lost like more than half of them. Yeah, that's like, true. Or he's um, won the last four at home though. Yeah. And I got a mad stat here. They've won 12 of the last 14 games versus Knights at Go Media Stadium. So they obviously dominate there, but it's a different Knights team. It's boys. different. It's a different team. It's a different Warriors team, though. It is. And the thing I really want to – like the Raiders had a very, like, odd pack on the weekend. Like a yeah. lot of the big names weren't there. Like no Horsburgh, no Papa Lee. A lot of guys that um, – didn't play that much football. Like had Mariotta to step up. Stepped up yeah. massively. Mm-hmm. And they were running yeah. all over him, especially in that first half. Like they, they, they couldn't stop him from getting into their own half every yeah. time. And, um, and imagine you do that against this Warrior. If you're conceding meters to this Warriors pack, you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. No chance. And if they're conceding meters like that to the Ra- that Raiders pack, imagine you got to deal with Montoya and then with Tenny and then Near Corey and Fanua Blake, they're gonna yeah. be they, they gotta really up their line speed. Well Fanua Blake averages sixty six post contact meters per game. Yeah. Like sixty six some props struggle to get even sixty six yeah. yeah run meters. So yeah, I agree. I think the forward pack's gonna be crucial here. I also like I think it's the battle of the wingers. So you got Dom Young and Marju who couldn't be in any better form if they tried, mm. up against Dallin with Tenny Zelezniak, who's a shout for winger of the year. Yep. And Montoya, who's break, broken his streak two weeks ago for try scoring. So, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, the winger's a gun there. Winger's a gun. <laughs> Dallin, a good game. Dallin scores for fun. Mm. He's on a drought. I think he, he didn't score the last two games. Yeah. So he's due. Can't go three games. Yeah, he's right. due for one. And That's I, the score. I think he's on Marju's side too. And yeah. yeah, right versus left. Yeah, yeah and then they can, they can – and Marju can have a – they can have a couple bad reads yeah. there. Marju loves to And you only need to give yeah. Tenny this much space. And then yeah. he's yeah. gonna like jump Literally, over you and do a 360. The and like, <laughs> he's like a trick shotter from like COD Modern, Modern Warfare yeah. 2. Yeah. Like <laughs> so he's, good. <laughs> he's got everything, bro. So um, he even does the dive when no one's there. He just yeah. does it. He just yeah. does it for fun, Principle. bro. Practice makes perfect. And he hurts himself as well, but he does it for the love of the, love of the fans. You know, he wants mm. to give us something to be happy about. I mm. love his put downs. Jimmy, what do you think about Hastings not being in the team? How do you think that affects their go forward? So they got Kloon. Yep. In the side. I think Clune's solid. Like we saw at the back end of last or this season when Hastings was injured, Clune did a job for them. So I think they'll be fine. Um, obviously he's a big out, but yeah, I think um yeah, Clune's done a job before, so I think they should be fine. And Fitzgibbon's another out for nice, but Dylan Lucas comes he's, in a good young rookie. He's he got their rookie of the year, I'm pretty sure, for the Knights. He? Yeah, he, he's Very one nice. to watch. He's playing I good for Can't wait to see him back on the field. But yeah, it's just it's all about Ponga though. Did you guys hear I only found out the other day, Fitzgibbon's actually off to Warrington next yeah, year. He's yeah, even, yeah. So, oh, like, I, when I he signed that. that contract, apparently it was early on in the year, and fuck, maybe a bit of him is probably kicking himself that maybe he should just stuck it out. I can't believe no team in the NRL could fit Fitzgibbon in. Yeah. Fuck. Is he's been good for years. Very, yeah, he's, he's been cons- solid. He's had injury problems. Yeah, he but has. He runs off a good to, line. He's not that old to go to Warrington. Yeah. Who knows? He'll, he'll probably cash, man. Maybe he'll hey, some some money. T- sometimes they give him. Sometimes they offer you a lot of money. Yeah. Like look at Manu Ma'u, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. one I always point to. Like they were offering him a bag, like yeah. more than NRL teams were offering him. So irresistible, like yeah. no brainer, eh, to go there. And you, you know, you go there and you're literally like, if you're an NRL player, and you go there. You're like a god there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like you're literally a, a pro, you're like ponga to them. Yeah. Mm. You're like David Fafita to them. You know you're what I mean? Like, you're the man. Yeah, you're the man. You know what I mean? So it's that you you can make money and be like that in England, you know, and yeah. then you get to go watch the Premier League every week if you want to. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so you know how, do you see, how do you see it going? Jimmy, who are you tipping? Oh, I might go Newcastle. I think. Go Knights? Yeah. Fred? I'm going Waz 1-12, to but if they put Bunty in the lineup last minute, they'll win by 100. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what I want to ask you, Fred. I know you have a love affair with Bunty. What, no, that's why not. is he not starting this week? He started 21 games, or he's played 21 games this year. Yeah, like Webster uses him sparingly. You know, he only plays like 25, 30 minutes a match. And um, 
Jazz Tavangas been out for a lot of the year and they're like the bold brothers off the bench. Yeah, I do yeah. like the bold brothers. And I'm um, like, they've also like Tom Ali has played a lot of games this year as well. He's, he's off good. the bench too. So like uh, sorry, he's um he's On out the of the out of the seventeen as well. Yeah. So yeah. like it's just they already like I feel like the Bash brothers, I call them the Bash brothers or the bold brothers off the bench. The they're just bold very Bash brothers. <laughs> they're just very like they're just, Perfect to come off the bench. Dean Walks can is you huge. see him sneaking there over maybe Sirinan? Yeah, Aaron's I, I, been good, so probably have to leave him there. I think so, but Sirinan's also also very versatile. Like yeah, even back in his South days, he was he hooker, was as well. well. But they got Jazz and Walker can play hooker. Like, yeah, they got Jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's just that's again. Like I I wouldn't have three guys. Like, they're all very versatile too. I think that's what he, I think that's what Webster's going for. Yeah, so, just so you agreeing with Webster? No Bunty for the. the I, I'd, I'd put Bunty in. It was up to me. Bunty off the back fence coming on like 20 minutes here yeah, mate, in the you, finals off the kickoff yeah, mate, you, he runs it like no way he just runs it straight at you mate it doesn't you don't need footwork when nah, you're you bunty. know what you're gonna get he's running off the back fence he's gonna run how hard. you gonna how you tackle the hair's him? going everywhere yeah how you tackling bunty yeah you have to go low on him yeah no, you need he's not going high. The, the, no, you, go away. Away. you know what the you bunty over. effect is bro you know you have the cast patrol effect yeah. yeah the bunty effect is they need seven guys to bring him down. Like I used to say, they used to hire laborers to come ta- help tackle him. <laughs> hey, and then everybody, not. everybody sucked into for Bunty, and then they just spread it, spread Why? it wide and score. Yeah. Lucky, after lucky a for Bunty the hitter. night's sake, they're all bricklayers. Yeah, so they're, they're all pretty bricklayers. much laborers. That's, they can yeah. all get in there and fucking. Yeah, and, that's, and Webster knows that. That's why Bunty's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> he's not as impactful. He's not, he's, he's not even in the. So he's who, not even you, on who the are you going age? Oh uh, well, if they play Bunty, Warriors thirteen plus. Yeah. If they don't, Warriors one to twelve. So you're wearing a night's jersey. You're not going to. I know. Well. Thanks, the was wa- at home. I'm stats calling Dan. That's it, bro. <laughs> Dan, don't bash me, but stats don't lie. I'm a massive stats fan. Twelve out of fourteen at home versus Knights. Up the Waz. You can deal with Dan anyway. I remember that leg stack. Yeah, I chopped him. <laughs> Grass chopped cut him. him, bro. I chopped him. He has nothing, so I can cop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go the Waz. I think. I think yeah. just at home, it's gonna be that massive. I think the advantage. easiest thing would go Storm and Waz, but you know. I was really it. thinking Knights, different. but no, this is Fitz given Hastings game, out. Bro. This is a hard Knights pick, can man. win. Knights I wouldn't win. fucking blink but twice. They're going for eleven in a row. I yeah. want the Wars to win, bro. Yeah. But like you know, ten in a row is ten in a row. Yeah, like, I can't. Who won ten in a row last? Penrith. Oh, yeah, probably, probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. Like, I want to say it was a long time ago. Probably, Panda probably did it and we didn't bat an eye. Yeah, it's pretty wild that Knights are going for 11, Roosters are going for seven in a row, and they're both not favourites. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and the Knights really give me, like, 09 Eels vibes, man. Mm. Yeah. So With Hain like, leading you know, him. Just, they're just Pong is leading back him. end of the year, just pump the dogs and then just use that as fuel. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, let's do the same game, multi or quaddy. Which one do you want to do first? Start with the quaddy. Same thing. We'll let you start as well, Fred. Pick a try scorer for this game. So I got Greg Marju scoring in this game. Okay, let's yeah, add Big Greg. Jimmy. He's a lock. I love that. Gag eye for me. Gags, go, really? Why are you yeah. going to go gags? Went close last week. Young? No, I go gags. Gags, lock yeah. it in. Okay, let's add that. Dummy to Young. Go Nick. himself. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go because no one's going to pick my guy. I will go... Dallin Mutteni's the least. Ah, uh, what a surprise! Man. Boring. <laughs> nah, someone had to go him. You should wait till you see my fridge. Then you'll call boring. <laughs> oh no, is it Adam Floyd? Oh, just you <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm going Adam Pompey, boys. He has Pompey. the best stats out of everyone in this game. He scored six tries in six games versus Knights. So that's value. Okay. I had a and chat with Pompey for 20 minutes at Magic Round One. You really good bloke. Yeah. What did he tell you? Uh, I was just asking him, like, what's your favourite position? He goes, I don't care. I just want to play. I was like, fuck, this guy's a, he's a football player. <laughs> he's a f- and he kicks goals as well. And and he he's a footy player. He slots it. Not oh, he's and a I had him player. first try scorer against Dragons as well. So I was, he oh, made me you? smile. Yeah. You're, you're on a roll here. Yeah, that is, is 51 bucks. Bang, let's put that up take on that double. Value. Okay, same, same game. Same game. What are we thinking? Well, you said Warriors 1 to 12, yeah? Mazu. Did anyone tip Knights here? Do you no. tip Knights? You tip Knights. Oh, you did? Okay. Knights with the line. So plus. if we do Knights plus 12 and a half, that yep. cancels out. So we're just saying Warriors bets. don't win 13 plus. Yeah. No, nah, unless Bunty's playing. But okay. yeah. at the moment he's not. Yeah, <laughs> Webster, it depends on what Webster bets on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Webster wants more value, so he'll probably get 13 plus, chuck Bunty on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> um, do we add in Dallin, obviously, if we're going Warriors? Yeah. And then one of the Marzu or Gags? Marzu. I think Marju, yeah. 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 So we're, we're pretty much oh, back in. Yeah. We're back in front. Oh, he did actually. On yeah. both same game multis. That's well, he's, is, on, he's on a streak, Fred. He's on a streak. Five dollars yeah. seventy five for nice plus twelve and a half. Marzu Dallin. Done. That is on double. If you want to copy, guys. Okay. Well, that's that will do our wrap up for finals week two. Let's get on to TBC Live, guys.
TBC oh, Live. TBC Live. Mate, I'm pretty much hooked on this app. I'm hooked. I was I'm on, on there fire. for all four games. I'm on fire. And I was just talking shit in the chat, putting up predictions, and I still didn't even get top four or top five. No. I came second. Jimmy came fourth. Yeah. So we'll read the top five out. So top five, fifth was the Ambino, 214 points. Well just done. Just quietly, this bloke was in the banter channel oh, the whole time. The Ambino loved it. He didn't leave. I don't even know who this bloke Yambino is. It could be Fred for all we know. <laughs> Are you on TBC, Fred? No, I'm not. Oh, mate, you're going to get on. Mate, you were telling me about it. And I think I'll... Are you going to get on? I've got to get on. I've got to get, get on. on. What, what have I got to lose? Nothing. What, exactly. Nothing only bro. to win. You were the winner jersey last week. And this week, stay tuned. I don't yeah. want to spoil it yet. Yeah. Fourth was prizes. Jimmy Cast. Well Thank done. You. 265 points. Yep. Third place, Rosie Fadul, 386 points. Second, the cast patrol. So that was me. I was, oh, mate. I found a few loopholes. I'll get into them later. <laughs> Four ninety-two points, and first beat me by twenty points, Anti. So with five hundred and sixteen points. So shout out to Anti. Well done. Yeah. I think he's already claimed his jersey. He's got a dog's jersey, even though he's a rooster sport. I think he's trying to suck up to his missus. So his missus is a dog's fan. Yeah. <laughs> dogs is, is that a play bro. on buying a jersey for your missus? No, nah, that's a play on all yeah? day. Yeah. yeah just Does your missus support jersey, yeah. dogs? <laughs> she, Fred? No, my, my missus doesn't even watch football, but oh, yeah, right. I'm going to convert her. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. so Anti's won and our old jersey of his choice. But we, so he did 18 predictions, 166 total votes. So that's he was on he, fire. That is crap. That is crap. Like no one was going to beat this bloke. 610 total points staked, yep. and he was in the ch chat 24 times. So that's not much in the chat because he was voting. He was whole, voting he was the whole time. voting a lot. Yeah. Yeah. His correlation. So, and we had our last week's predictions as well. So I had – Craig Bellamy swears, I think, three plus times in the first half. He didn't. Fuck, he if I would have said second half, it was a lock. Yeah, because yeah. it, it was only eight oh, nil first half. Eight nil wasn't bad. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck came out. Yeah, after. yeah. <laughs> when you fuck up the Uber Eats order, what did you, you get? Yeah. <laughs> I had the Warriors fans plus 10 signs in the crowd. I didn't actually watch this game intensely. Right, okay. But I saw so many photos after with all the signs. I'm going to pay it out. So That's you're paying it out? All That's right. a winner. You can pay mine out. Nice to score in the first 10 minutes. That was my prediction. And, and they who, did. Wait, who what scored? minute did they score? Six. Six? Mazu. There you go. That's a good you prediction. Chimps. It's just me. So rough. Second half. <laughs> um, all right. Redemption this week. Man. Yeah, redemption this redemption. week. We'll get into them. So we said it last week. TBC will be doing giveaways for the entire NRL finals. So last week was the NRL jersey. This week, they've up in the prize. Two games, so more chance to win, more time in the chats. Oh, so a jersey for each game. Oh, better. One better. double pass to an NRL prelim final next week. So a ticket for yourself and a mate. So if you're in Queensland, I think you'll get the Brisbane game. Yep. If you're in New South Wales, you get the New South Wales game. So you're seeing Penrith first. Who Penrith get to play? Probably Melbourne. If Chooks, Melbourne. Chooks don't win. Yeah. yeah. And then Brisbane versus Wiles or, or Newcastle, Knights. Newcastle, yeah. So... Prelim and it's free to play, open to all ages. Why not? Fred, why not? Tell me why, why not. Why not? I've got nothing to lose. Exactly. exactly. There's right. no reason not to. I reckon you have to cancel your streams this week and just get on TBC. And no, we just pass. get the stream on the TBC. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, get them on. Go. Tell them there it's a double go. pass to be won yeah. and it's free Jeez. to play. Uh, so download via the link in the episode description or via the Apple and Google Play stores. So, yeah, it was great to see a lot of followers and patrollers on the weekend. So getting involved with them. It was. Especially the live reactions in terms of just like in the chat, people going, no way. Like especially yeah. when all the field goals were getting kicked, all the penalties. It was just good to see all the action. Mm. Um, yeah. What was your best tip for, for the app, Jimmy? How were you getting your points? You came fourth. You must have had some system. Mate, I was just – it's just coming to me, you know. I was just predicting on anything, literally yeah. anything. I think at some point I was like Terrell May to make two hit-ups in for, in the next five minutes and he did. He did. He would have done 20. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You, honestly, you can, yeah, predict anything. But I think the best part is there's no money involved. So you're not exactly. losing money. So you can back your gut and be like, fuck, I think he's going to miss this conversion here. Bang. Like Nico Hines missed this conversion. If you tell him from the Add corner. the two minute timer in and then yep. bang, you can go vote on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, my favorite was probably like the penalty or line break. I loved it. Like odd odd players jersey making a line break in the next 10 minutes, yes or no. And I think um Tedesco made one. I was like, yeah. pay that out. So yeah, it was a fucking good weekend. You can predict, banter, and win. All amazing. So follow at TBC underscore live underscore on Instagram as well for more information and updates but if you need a hand navigating the app click the top right icon and the question mark and you'll get straight through with all the details i never yeah. said yeah so i can't wait to win that double pass yeah i'll be taking myself and maybe maybe even i'll bring you jim maybe if you really? promise to bring me oh yes done done what if Locked i win in. if you win you can take fred 
No, I don't want to take Fred. <laughs> <laughs> what about if Fred wins? Fred, you if you and who are you taking? I'm giving him away. I'm streaming the game, bro. Whoa, oh, hey, that's yeah. dedicated. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, sign cool, up bro. using the link in the episode description and, yeah, check out full terms and conditions at tbclive.com. But remember, rule number one, don't be a dickhead. So our predictions, you get make it about anything, Fred. So yeah. literally anything, as long as it's quantifiable and there's an outcome. Yeah. So. I don't know if you have one now or you want to come back. Well, I'll say our three. Let me, let me say your yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> sit oh. on it. Sit on it. Does anyone have one? Oh, got one. oh, oh you, go, you go first, right. Jim. Lindsay um, Collins to make four, no, three hit-ups in the first ten minutes. Three hit-ups in the first ten. I think that's very likely. Do you think so? Yeah, oh. three hit-ups. There'll be one off the kickoff. Well, what, it'll be one in the first set. Yeah. And then, and then you'll have like at least three He should. More. I reckon you've got to go more risky. I'll go five. Five, right, five better. hit ups. Right, five hit five. ups in the first ten minutes. I'm saying there'll be a minimum of one sin bin in the Roosters versus Storm game. I think just Ooh. back to back what? packs. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you're trying yeah. to say that's more more likely. No, than I'm just saying like it will gotta, be five. It's got to put it in a time period, mate. Like, is it ten minutes? No, no, no. for this one, it's any time. Yeah, you get the special one. This is a special promo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct. So yours, but you did ten minutes. You can do that. That's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah. You can understand. Oh, Fred, do you have yours? Yeah, I've got one. Okay, can you go? Months that I get a one-on-one strip in the game. Oh, yeah. he, hasn't been, he hasn't been doing it this year, but I reckon yeah. he's going to do it I in like this game. It out now. I like that. Oh, I want to okay, I want to do one to the Warriors game. I can't do the signs again because at Mount, at Go Media, <laughs> it's a lock. Be fucking 20 million signs. Oh, okay, I'm going to do – oh, it's a lock as well. I was going to do – you know that guy with the, the face paint on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Him to appear on the broadcast. So he's on every broadcast. Who, who, he's based with that. the camera guy, bro. He has to. Yeah. Be. <laughs> he's like a guarantee. Bro, there's going to be more fans without points. fans. There's yeah. going to be more fans with signs than without signs. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. So do you want to make a prediction or uh, like, my, just gonna my waste prediction? <laughs> my prediction is Adam Pompey and Dallin to combine for three plus tries. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Pompey, so <laughs> Pompey and Dallin. All right. I like three it. Plus. All right, done. Well, yeah, Beautiful. sign up using the link in the description, TBC Live. How good. So, Jimmy, right. this is where you sort of take over. We debuted it last week, the Spring Carnival yes. segment. so sponsored Spring Carnival, obviously sponsored by our great friends, Dabble. So, get on Dabble this weekend for a huge Spring Carnival. Sign up using the link in our episode description. So, plenty of good races on this Saturday, both in Victoria and Sydney. So, in Victoria, we've got the Group 1 Maccabi Diva Stakes over the mile, Mr. Brightside, short price favourite. Alligator Blood, Princess Grace, Osipenko look like the likely contenders in that race. Let's elope stakes over the 1,400 metres. Amelia's Jewel returns. She'll be very short in the market. We've got the Bobby Lewis quality over the 1,200 metres. We'll see Benedetta versus What You Need. Obviously, Benedetta's one, two on the bounce this prep. What You Need is resuming. And then we've got the Poseidon stakes over the 1,400 metres. We'll see the return of King's Gambit in that race as well as I Am Unstoppable. And then in Sydney, we've got the inaugural running of the seven stakes over the mile. We'll see Fangirl, Think It Over, and Zaki, the likely uh, contenders in that race. The T-Row stakes, the Group 2 race over the 1,400 metres. We'll see. This will be a good form race for the flight stakes and the 1,000 guineas later on in the spring. Tis Invincible Kamochi will likely headline the betting there. Waterhouse and Bot have some good runners in that race. They've got Autumn Ballet, Tropical Squall, Summer Loving and Platinum Jubilee. So I think they have a pretty good hold on that race. And then we've got the Shorts over the 1100 metres Group 2 race. Horses to make the Everest claim. So in secret, Buenos Noches, Overpass, Private Eye, Lost and Running, Marzu, Remark and Bella Nipatina potentially all running in that race. So should be a good... Saturday this weekend, plenty of good horses to see and plenty of good races to look forward to if you're having a punt. So. And we are not on the double stream this Saturday, so it gives us heaps of time to perform in Correct. depth for each race. That's right. Are you leaning towards any of the best bets of the horse you just mentioned or still TBC? I think I might go Amelia's Jewel into something else. Okay. Right. Amelia, how short are we predicting Amelia? I think at the moment she's at about dollar sixty. Okay, yeah. Right. You're going to find something around two bucks to multi it into. So maybe Amelia's going to bright side. Who knows? What's bright side at the moment? Two dollars. Okay, that's not bad. Similar to last week. That's not bad. Similar to last right. week. So I'll tell you what was sickening though last week. Giga kick went into like a dollar forty five, <laughs> and it was Did like he? yeah, no, it went didn't. short. No, dollar sixty. No, no, he didn't. Dollar sixty. I, don't think, I think he touched maybe dollar seventy. If no, you like, four went lower. No, I don't no, think so. Didn't go to a dollar sixty. No, it didn't go to a dollar sixty. It wasn't on dabble then. 
Must mean something else. Someone told me it went into dollar forty. Maybe definitely didn't go dollar forty. Either way, it did not run like that. It was no. shocking. And Willow's gonna get dropped. Yep. Yeah. From the Everest. Oh, there you go. He's not gonna ride him. From that well, one after ride. that performance. Yeah. Apparently they're gonna get someone else. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Who would apparently, you uh, rumors Zach Purton's in Sydney that day. Oh, on Everest day. So, so he might friend, of, friend of the yeah. show, Zach Purton. There yes. you go. Love it. All right. <clears throat> Listen to questions. So obviously all our listeners every week sent through some questions. So we'll go through and we'll kick it off with at Sophia G. Learpus. Who's this? This is my girlfriend. She Did you probably going to listen for the first time in her life. Okay. So hopefully we had this on the sheet. Otherwise we right. lost a potential listener. If your NRL team was eliminated from the comp, who would you start supporting? Fred, who would you support? Like just oh, in general, it probably would be South. Really? Yeah. Right. Really? Because the only reason I go I go for the dogs is South didn't exist. Like my whole family goes for South except for my mom. Okay. She went for the dogs and jump ship to the roosters with when Willie Mason did the switch. Yeah. But basically, South weren't in the comp when I when I started going for it. Yeah. When I started watching football. So, you know, if the dogs got booted, I you know, my family's from Redfern as well. I grew up in Redfern. So I'd probably just default to South. That yeah. does make or the Waz. Yeah, the Waz, that would be my answer. The Waz, are, the Waz fans have really won me over. 100%. And that's what I'm going for in these finals. And even if Souths were in these finals, but they're not because they've yeah. got September off. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Fred. I'm going, I'd still go for the Waz oh. this year because I just love them. I would probably go for whoever that new 18 team is. Just start fresh. Wouldn't go for Who, Who's the 18th team? team? Fuck if PNG it's. Hunters? PNG Hunters. PNG Hunters, <laughs> North, North Sydney Bears, yes. if they get back in, or yeah. Perth Hunters. Perth, yeah. I just go for whoever they are. I, just, I, I could not stomach going for one of, the, or what one happens, of those teams. What happens if they only came in, let's say, 2025? Nah. Would you support anyone in the meantime? No, nah, I'd just be a neutral fan. Free Asian. Just do copy Jimmy's double bets and move on. Yeah. i go Warriors. They're the furthest really? away from, from Sydney, so I have to go to Waz, up the Waz. Yeah, Who good. do you think I'll go, I'll go for? Roosters. You're Correct. a Roosters supporter probably now. <laughs> Yeah, don't give a girls. <laughs> <laughs> Josiah Ouchin, next question. Can the Roosters go all the way? No. 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 Sorry. But they can question. go all the way home from Melbourne. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all the way home from Melbourne or yeah. Penrith. <laughs> one of the two. Yeah, definitely yeah. from I think Penrith. They, can, they, they, they might go past this week, but I don't think they'll get past hey, it. But week. we did rule them out early in the year. You did. And they defied all the odds. You did, yes. They knocked South out. Yeah. And they're still in the hunt. Yeah. yeah. But... Facing Melbourne and then Penrith, yep. now we can safely rule them out. Yep. I'm happy to eat my hat if, if it fails. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No hats will be in. Uh, next question. At Robert Banks, Broncos forward pack versus Panthers forward pack. Who's winning the battle through the middle? Jesus, that's, that's, that's tough, That is man. neck and neck, mate. Um, Fuck, I actually I, don't know. I've got to go Brisbane because they just got, they got, pack, the, they got the best forward. They got the two best forwards there, I reckon. Who, who are in, they? Uh, in Haas and Carrigan, Carrigan yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Brisbane got the better individual forwards, but Penrith Pack as a unit is fucking ridiculous. You yeah. can't break them down. If it's not Fisher Harris, it's Yo, Scotty, Scotty Torrance, and Martin. Leota. Uh, they just Leota, don't stop. Man. They have a motor. Yeah. I think Penrith defensively are a juggernaut. Like they're hard to fucking take mm. down. Yeah. Can't get through them. But the form that Carrigan and Haas are in, fuck, it's. It's neck and neck. It really yep. is. That's why they're the two heavyweights of the comp. But yeah, the thing with the Penrith forward pack is like they can they got they got a little bit cruisy because they back three make more yeah. four more yeah. meters than all of them. Yeah, they so back like, three like I mean, top three in the they have the three of the top five. Yeah, the like, run so they make they make them they make the meters in the team and then you know they they're just there to pack some punch and defend really hard and set the tone. Mm. Whereas Brisbane forward pack they make the meters. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I give them the edge because if it's just forward pack versus yeah. forward pack like. You gotta. I just gotta give the nod to to Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. I think even Jordan, I think I got Ricky. Brisbane. Jordan Ricky's been most one of the most improved as well this year. So yeah, he's killing it. He's. Who do they have off the bench that provides good impact? Uh, they got um well, last week they had Palacio. Yeah, Kobe Hetherington. Yeah, um, they were both really good. Um, and one Jensen more, the Flegler as well. Flegler, oh, no, Flegler, yeah, yeah. Flegler. Flegler sort of he starts as well and like, but he's just. Really angry guy, you know, yeah. the whitest man in the world, the so called him. But you know, he's angry when he's red. Like, <laughs> banana you know. peeler. Yeah. Banana peeler. Why do they call him that? I, I Cause I think it's he's the town that he's from. Yeah. I think they known for like banana, banana farming and stuff. Yeah. Oh, banana yeah. farming now and he's, stuff. That will never, that will stick forever. Yeah. Now. Yeah. All right. Next question at Patrick Gillespie. Thoughts on Pappy's injury. Is his career over? I don't think his career's over. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll, he'll be back, he'll be back next year. It's, it's, 
he's he's lucky he's still young and like yeah. it wasn't compound fracture. Yeah, he's only 25 years old. It's more of a mental barrier to mm. overcome another long-term injury. Mm. But I think everyone's supporting him. He'll back himself. It's going to be some tough times, but yeah. I think he'll be back next year, late next year. Yeah, I, I think – um, yeah, I really wanted him to take time, like take this season off. Yeah. I didn't see much of a need for him to come in and Manny was doing a good job at fullback and he was playing in the middle and if he – if he had come back next year, he probably would have been playing fullback and that injury probably would have been avoided, you know. But yeah. it's, you know, I, it's weird to say it now. Like I don't want to say in it like it's be a yeah, dickhead, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, I think he'll definitely be back. If he can come back from the knee injury, he can come back from this too. 100%. Yeah, he's lucky it wasn't compound. So yeah. it avoids more risk of infection. I've been listening to so much NRL physio. So what was the actual yeah. ruling that he got from his ankle? What was it? A broken ankle? Yeah, pretty much a broke, broken ankle. Like, yeah, it was a fractured, fractured ankle. Fractured, fractured, fractured ankle fracture. Yeah. So it's well, still it a fracture, compound. but it's not a compound through, through the bone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah through oh, the skin, sorry. Yeah, disgusting. bone through the skin. Yeah. And it was Nelson that fell on him. Like, yeah. Like you couldn't have, have, had, on you could have had a worse <laughs> body fall on you. Like, literally poor, the biggest fridge ever. Poor yeah. Pappenhausen. Next question. Next one. At Brixy, thoughts on where Blake Taff and Critter will play? You're the doggy supporter. Critter's on fullback money. Is that Brooksy? Uh, Brixy. Brixy. Okay, so I've got um, I've got Critter playing fullback, and I've got Taff being there as a fail safe in case Critter doesn't work out at fullback. But okay. personally, I feel like he will. But Taff can play in the halves too, so I can see if Crichton goes to Origin duty, which he probably will. Or if something happens to one of the halves, I can see him. Or if just Critter doesn't work out yep. at fullback, or we might see you know centers get hurt and they throw Crichton there. He's just there. For depth and I think – like I'd love to see him play. I think he's really fun to watch. But um, Crichton's definitely going to be playing fullback and Gus mm-hmm. let it slip. I don't – like that he is. <laughs> yeah. he, you know, so. Well, he was signed for a fullback. Role, yeah, he's, think, so. on, he's on 8.25 a year. Like it's, yeah. he's if he works out at money. <laughs> if he, he, work, if he works out at fullback for that money, that's an absolute bargain. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. No, that's fair. And, and last question – so were you going to say something else? I was going to say Taff can be the 14 as well. He'd be a great 14. Very We've got true. a few 14s there. Yeah, we, the, well, the whole roster. We've got a, we got a whole roster of 14s. You have a 1 to 17 of 14s. You just sign Hutchinson. Yeah, Hutcho, it? Turpin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Salmon. 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 Yeah. 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 They're going to play Oluwapu. Man, Kurt Mann. Yeah, Oluwapu. Oh, yeah, you have a good 14 Kurt option. Man. Yeah, Kurt Mann. <laughs> just, Fuck, yeah. They literally <laughs> just signed <laughs> every 14 available. Oh, my but God. Mr. Fix you just need Dylan Walker next. That's yeah. it. You got every 14. Yeah, Connor yeah. Watson, done. Well, right. We tried to go for Connor Watson, Did you? <laughs> but he failed his medical. <laughs> oh. Yeah, legit. What? <laughs> yeah, he actually had him. He, and then he, we were going to get him, and then he failed his medical. Oh, my God. That's the key. Sign all the 14s in the comp. Yeah, <laughs> well, like, you know. Sign all the 14s, finish 14. What if there's a what if there's a 14? If there's a 14, if we had a trade system in the room we had every 14 and the teams needed a 14 Mate, genius then, genius. then you got to pay overs to get we got all the 14s we <laughs> set the tone of the market but there's no real trade system this ain't the nba you can't give us first round picks. if only the 14s were the most important t- uh, yeah i know team, i know, I know. Guys if only hey but <laughs> yeah. hey as long as they work hard that's it that's it get rid of the get get a new club culture that culture <laughs> work ethic all right, last question. This one might be for Fred at Dom underscore Villa Miza. Why are you so beautiful? I don't know. Good genes. And uh, like I pet chicken, so I've had a lot of eggs So um, in my lifetime. So I, it must be the eggs. Do you think the eggs made you this beautiful? Yeah, man. I, bro, I was eating like throughout high school like five, five eggs a day, bro. Have you ever week. had them raw? Yeah. Do you, do you like them raw? No. What the hell? No. I was only doing it when, I was, when I'm training. I wanted to be like Rocky once. Never yeah. again. So there you go. Never if you want to look as sexy as Fred, go eat five eggs a day. That's five it. eggs a day, man. <laughs> For Fred, it's re- it's your favourite segment time. Fill the fridge. Oh, <laughs> it really is the best name, mate. Because you are a bit of a fridge. Yeah. So I, in I the charity I, match, you would have been the fridge. I would have been row, a fridge. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, they had me at lock. Oh, so I was like, oh, oh, they they a, fridge. Like a fridge. lock wouldn't be a fridge. We yeah. we don't allow locks. Oh, even you. So you are telling yeah. me that Tao Malolo not, would no not fridge. be a fridge He's or not. big red the big red machine. No, we can't no. allow it. I, I, well, when I when I played when I played for club. When I played for Mounties, I was a fridge. Ah, Fred the Fridge, we got Fred him. The yeah. fridge. All right. <laughs> Fred the Fridge. And my highest try scoring season was as a fridge. Who are you going as your fridge? So I've actually got Mitch Barnett 
Miss Scoring, I guess he's old team. But yeah. he's playing the fridge position. <sighs> he is. If it's the yeah. you Loop just told me he was about nah, the position. Nah, he's right, because I did Barnett a couple of weeks ago, and yeah. he failed right. me, though. Yeah, yeah he, he was, it probably was he the game scored. he dropped it three times I in think a row. I think he had a yeah. shocker. <laughs> Uh, but I've actually got Barnett scoring against his old team. He's a bit of a psycho, eh? Like, mm. when he runs, like, like, he just, there's so much aggression. He's like the water boy. Oh, he is. And I think the good thing is the Warriors' middles, I love that fucking short ball. Yeah. And some, like, him and Adam Fennell Blake are always hitting it. Yeah, and I feel like they're going to just be so mindful of the Fennell Blake one that they forget about of, Mitch. Yeah. The little old, <laughs> big old, little old coming Mitch. Through. Yeah. <laughs> what odds do you reckon that is, Fred, for what? Mitch Barnett? 720, I'm going to say. You're getting six bucks on Dabble. Are you going to take it? I'll take six five. Lock it in. <laughs> there we go. All right. Who is next? Jimmy, do you have a fridge? I do. I'm going to go Terrell May. Yeah, I like that. He's, good. he's been fucking good. He's eh? been fucking very good. And he scored like, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago. So he's on a streak. Yeah, um, he broke. He scored his first try a couple yeah. weeks ago. I'm going the cheat code for Noah Blake. Yeah. That is it. Nah, try. boo. That is, yeah. That is the David Fafita right. of fridges, man. No, he's <laughs> what scoring what odds are we going to let Mick? Like, if he's under a certain amount, we just say no. If he's under five dollars, we can't let. Because Terrell May's eleven bucks. That yeah. is value. Yeah. Double yeah. digits. All right, if Fanul Blake's under five dollars, you got to choose someone else. Mick's going AFB. He is. <laughs> Five twenty. Oh, oh just. okay. There you go. That's lad. actually well, value for Fanor Blake. Mate, Mate, Fanor, you'll, never right get, you'll never get that much for fucking Fanor Blake in your we'll life. Allow it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, All right, here's boys. A cheat code. I'm going a rogue one. I'm going Christian Welch. I'll tell you why. He scored the last two games at Amy Park. Thank you. I think one of them was the first try. So if you want to do first try. It's not bad. And that's what you call a statistical anomaly, kids. Don't back that. <laughs> Nine bucks. I'm willing to take the risk there for Beautiful. Big Welchie as captain. All right. Okay, good. Good on us. And tips of the week, if you have any concluding remarks, Fred. Here's your chance to like tip of the week. Uh, tip uh, late inclusion, Bunty our follower. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go with my earlier tip. Take your miso out to a nice dinner, particularly Chin Chin. If not, maybe like Elements. Just surprise her. Okay. What about if she's vegetarian? She's veggie, find a nice option. Okay. My miss is not veggie, so I can't find another girlfriend. Your, your miss is veggie, right? <laughs> she's Can vegetarian. Can you give the, the, the patrollers some options? I don't know any good vegetarian restaurants. We haven't been to any. Oh. Does one even well, exist? Do your research. I think and take there, I think there <laughs> are. <laughs> I think there, oh, there's, I'm sure there's the many fruit good market. Ones, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm yet to find one. So if anyone knows, give me a tip. There you go. <laughs> Mick and Jim, any tips from you guys? Um. Are you okay day, Thursday? Oh, good show. So, yeah, obviously just not for that day, but, yeah, just make sure, you know, we're always checking on our mates. We obviously never know what someone's going through. So, yeah, are you okay day on Thursday? Give someone a call. Ask them how they're doing. Shoot them a message. Good tip. Are you okay? Simple conversation. I just want to ask before I say my tip, is Trey Mooney a fridge? Because he was the only He's a fridge. that scored. Was he a, like, is he a lock? Was he off the bench? He was, he was off, off the, the bench. bench. Mooney, yeah, he's a big th- Dick boy. Well, he was only for that scored. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tough one. My tip of the week is, uh, I don't know, back for Noah Blake. <laughs> that's, that's your tip. That's you my can tip. tip. Anything. But, yeah, back for Noah Blake. I can say. I can foresee it. Gamble, straight, gamble responsibly. Straight under the post. Does the DX celebration? <laughs> Move on with your day. If he grounds at this time, you're in, Mick. But yeah, I know. Last yeah, good time you really stuffed it. Easy. Well, thanks, Fred, for coming on. What's Thank your you. social so everyone can follow you? Thanks for having me. Um, Insta is hectic. Fred underscore. Uh, TikTok is just Hectic Fred and Kick is Hectic Fred as well. Fuck, easy. Go easy, to Macca's order, easy. Fred? Have you got a go-to go to Macca's order? Oh, mate, I don't go to Macca's anymore because the burgers are so small. Right. But, <laughs> you um, need if I go, I, get, I used to just get the fam- I get the, the family box with the four burgers. Well, for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, they, they, that's what I, I don't go there anymore. I, I, you'll it's never catch small. me at a Macca's. Four but fucking- I go, I get two Big Macs, two Filet Fishes. Have you got oh, a uh, Filet got- Fish? Yeah, yeah fish. I love Filet best. Fishes. They're bro, the best. You guys, hey, all this guy knows. You two. That's no, 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 man. no way. Especially when uh, I, I fast meat for Len every year for forty days. So Filet, I get my Filet Fish then. Big time. That's Steam where bun. I get my fix. Steamed Ooh. buns. They always make it fresh for you. Yeah. So where do you go for burgers then? Uh, if I got a KFC, I get a Zinger box and they'll fill me up. But Macca's is not fill me up. Wow. Yeah, so I, that's why I don't. You won't catch me going. So you'll never there. get a Mac as sponsor. You, nah, you decline, mate. Make the. Mate, I'll go when they have the grand Big Mac because that's all right. <laughs> but they're just. I'm not paying thirty bucks every time I go there. Like if I go box. there, 
I'll go for a little ice cream. I'll get I'll get a Big Mac, but it will never fill me up. Yeah, you know, one I'm touch eat a couple sides, hours. No, these yeah, piss me off, eh? there's, there's a reason why I'm this big, but not for long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in shape. I've got to start getting in shape now for the next charity match. Not well, what next happened year. to you? You injured your ACL and yeah, the meniscus? I got a torn ACL and medial meniscus, and now I'll just full meniscus. Tear. How long has it been yeah. since you so first I, injured it? I did it in March last year. And then they told me in June that it was finally like a torn ACL. Yeah. And then I tried to come back, like re- just doing as much rehab as I could. Tried to, while I'm on the waiting list for surgery. And then um, I'm, the waiting list is finally going to be finished in November. Like I'm, yeah. I've got oh, surgery right. That's in. a long wait. Yeah, Fuck nearly. Man. So like, yeah, about 15, uh, about nah, 16 months, 17 months now. Jesus. Jesus. Since I since I went on this, it's been crazy. So but maybe Charity Mash 2025? 2025. I'll Is be that the goal? I'll, I'll nice ripe 105, uh, ready to go. I'm going to put 100 <laughs> bucks on Fred, Fred the Fridge oh, to mate, score. I've been waiting. I just want to play football the again. It's been many years, so I um, just want to get on the field, eh? And back play. on the court too. That's it. <laughs> Easy. Well, we'll catch you next week. Thanks, Fred, for coming on. It's been and, uh, a pleasure. Yeah, enjoy the finals footy. See, See you guys. See you guys. See you guys. Thanks for having me.